Hello, in this video we're going to do a supply and demand problem that uses a subsidy. So we have a market demand and market supply equation given by the following. Here's the quantity demanded, 10 minus P. Here's the quantity supplied, the market supply, minus 2 plus 2P. So what I'll first do is do the equilibrium price and quantity without a subsidy. So setting quantity demanded equal to quantity supplied, setting these two equations equal to one another, and solving for price, adding 2 to both sides, we get 12 here. And then adding P to both sides, we get 12 equals 3P. Dividing through by 3, 12 divided by 3 is 4, so our equilibrium price is $4. Plugging this $4 back in either the demand or supply equation, we'll get an equilibrium quantity of 6. So 10 minus 4 is 6, or minus 2 plus 2 times 4 will also be 6. Let's move on to the subsidy part. So we're going to have a subsidy here of $1.50 per unit to seller. So every time a seller produces and sells a good, that seller will get $1.50 from the government. So here is our market demand. 10 minus P subscript B, where the B represents the price that buyers pay when there's a subsidy in the market. And now the market supply equation will be minus 2 plus 2 P subscript S, where P subscript S is the price that sellers receive when there's a subsidy in the market. So the key thing here is to recognize from the seller's perspective the price that sellers will receive when we incorporate the subsidy will be what buyers pay the sellers, P subscript B, plus what the government pays the sellers, the subsidy. So in other words, in this problem, the price that sellers will receive is the price that buyers pay plus what the government pays, $1.50 per unit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my supply equation up here and where I have this P subscript S, I'm going to replace it with P subscript B plus the subsidy of $1.50. So that's what I have in parentheses. So where I have the P subscript S, we're replacing that with P subscript B plus $1.50. And then just simplifying that, uh, 2 times P subscript B and 2 times $1.50 is where that 3 is coming from. And then minus 2 plus 3, I'll simplify one more step here. So this step here becomes 1 plus 2 times the price that buyers pay. So now the next step is just setting quantity demanded equal to quantity supplied. Here's our quantity demanded, and here's our quantity supplied, the new quantity supplied in the face of a subsidy. And we have one equation and one unknown, so we're going to just solve that. So subtracting 1 from both sides, that's where the 9 is coming from, 10 minus 1. And then adding the price that buyers pay to both sides, we get 9 equals 3 P subscript B, dividing through by 3. The price that buyers pay in the face of a subsidy is $3, so this was less than our example, our, the, our equilibrium price in the example without the subsidy. And as for sellers, Sellers are going to get the $3 that buyers pay plus $1.50. So on net, sellers clear $4.50 for each unit sold. The overall equilibrium quantity now in this market. So taking this supply equation over here and plugging $3 into it, the price that buyers pay, the equilibrium quantity will be 7 units. Okay, uh, I hope you found this video helpful.